My name is Jimmy Lundstrom and this is my colleague. My name is Emil Gudin and we are the co-founders of Profound Wiki. And we're going to talk about this agenda today. I'm going to give a short company presentation and then we're going to talk about how you can turn your wiki into an intranet and then we open up for a question and answer section. So we are based in Sweden and we officially started to sell our products in 2009, in November, and we have uh, today over 500 customers in 42 countries. We also have over 50 nonprofit organizations using our products for free. And that's about it. Now we're going to demonstrate how you can turn your wiki into an internet. So, Refund Wiki original theme has three key features which helps you with turning your wiki into an internet. It is organizing and structuring content, a simple user interface which increases adoption for non-technical users, and branding. You can easily apply your company colors. Um. So, this is the dashboard of the wiki. Here you find news, a recent activity stream, and all spaces. The dashboard can easily customize with wiki markup. So you just press the edit dashboard button and you can change. So in this example, we will add some information and we will use a simple info macro. And when you're done, you just save it. And the result is turning up on the top of the dashboard. Organizing content. You can create your own categories which are located on the top section of the wiki. Spaces can be organizing in categories and subcategories. So this is the HR category, and all categories has their own dashboard, which you can also customize to fit your company needs. Uh, the user interface. So we're gonna take a look at a page now. So we visit the salary space, and visit a page called holiday schedules. So this is how a page look like in the wiki. <coughs> you can always see where you are currently located in the wiki. <coughs> so we see here we are in the HR category, and we visit the salary space, and we're viewing the holiday schedule page. So if you want to navigate to a new space, you can use the category drop-down feature, or you can navigate to one of your favorite pages by using the favorite pop-up feature. You see your favorite spaces and pages. And the search bar is always accessible as well. And for a more advanced users, you can reach these uh, features by keyboard shortcuts. And let's talk about the branding. So this is the Confluence administration view. And here you find a feature where you can um, create your own background templates. So I'm gonna show you, we just click add templates and you name your new <coughs> template, and you name, um, type in a name key as well. Then you have to decide which design you, you want to go with, and we have currently three designs, and it's uh, the one we call original, and the second one called point, look like this, and the third one is clean. So we're gonna go with the point one this in this example, and then we have to choose which background color we want. And I'm gonna pick a blue one for this example. You can also type in your color code if your company have that. And yes, hit done. Then you have to decide if you want to fade your background color and we want to use the light fade. And the same with the link color, just pick the one you want or type in your color code. And with the mouse over color, we're gonna go with the white one here. Now we can preview your template to see how it looked like. And if you are satisfied with the results, you can go ahead and uh, save it. So now we have created a um, background template and this template can be applied on the whole wiki or on different categories. So this is how it um, looked like when it's applied. And now I'm going to show a couple of other templates. So this is a template with the same design, but it's green. <coughs> and 
the next one is with the original design, a gray one and an orange one. So it's easy to create your own background template to match your company needs. Now Jim is going to talk about the mobile interface. Yeah, I'm going to talk about how you can take your intranet on the go with the mobile interface. And I'm going to talk about three key features. The first one is that it's easy to browse content on the go. The other one is social features including status updates with your smartphone. And the third one is branding your mobile <coughs> interface in the same way as the original theme. So this is the first page of the mobile <coughs> interface and you can also easily see recent activities. You can also easily browse content and if you're using the original theme you can uh, browse content sorted out in categories and subcategories. So here we have the H&R category. So you can easily see the spaces and pages belonging to it. And you can also easily add pages or blog posts with your smartphone. And here I'm going to show how you can add a page. So just enter the title, like test at last user group, and add some content. And then click save. And then you can see the page. I'm going to talk about the social features. Wherever you are in the mobile interface, you can easily access the main menu. So here I'm going to show how you can browse people. It's easy to both <coughs> browse people and search people. And you, you can also directly call them or, or send them an email with your smartphone. And you can also easily view their personal page. Another social feature is that you can view or add your own status updates. So if you're on a conference like this at last in user group event, you can easily add status update and use your intranet in the same way as Twitter. So here I just write the content and then click update. And the third thing I'm going to talk about is the branding. So you can also decide if you want to show your logotype within the mobile interface or add a message in the footer <coughs> of the mobile interface. You can also choose between different colors in different sections in the mobile interface. And here we change the color in the space section. So we go for the orange color or you can set a specific key <coughs> color that your company has. And then just click save and you can always preview what you have chosen. So here we see if we go to a sp uh, space level we see the color orange. The mobile interface is a web-based product that works with most smartphones like <coughs> Android phones and iPhones and we have just released a native app for iPhones and iPads and soon we will release uh, native apps for Android and Blackberry phones. And this is about it. Here is, uh, if you want more information you can just go to our uh, home page or our demonstration page or you can just click on your smartphone and go to this addre address demo.refinewiki.com slash m and try it out for yourself. <coughs>